Shabbat Shalom, family Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back in with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of John, chapter 1, and starting verse 1. John 1 and verse 1. Again, John 1 and verse 1, and I read In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Yahweh, and the Word was Yahweh. I read it to say this. In these perilous times, and these times of hardship, we must continually believe in Yahweh's word. In these perilous times, we must continue to believe in Yahweh's word and not doubt. We must not allow no one to spoil or rob us of our belief in our Yahweh's word. In believing the word of Yahweh, we must continually acknowledge that the word of Yahweh is true and what man says is a lie. We must continue to acknowledge that every word of Yahweh is true and set apart. There are no errors, there are no contradictions, there are no blemishes in the word of Yahweh. If you profess to believe in the word of Yahweh. So if you profess to believe in the word of Yahweh, you accept every word of Yahweh. There is no errors, there is no contradiction in Yahweh's word. And those who declare there are errors and contradictions in the word of Yahweh, they know not Yahweh. Only the devil will seek to cast doubt and to blaspheme the word of Yahweh. For it's written in the scripture, all scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in what's right. For what purpose? That the man of Yahweh may be perfect through the first and all good works. And the word Yahweh says again, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is by private interpretation, but set apart men of Yahweh spake as they are moved by the Holy Ghost. So, Every word of Yahweh is true. Every word of Yahweh is pure. Every word of Yahweh is perfect. Every word of Yahweh is infallible. Every word of Yahweh is clean. Every word of Yahweh is 100% right. And we are obligated as children of the renewed man to govern ourselves according to every word of Yahweh. Yahweh has given us a dietary instruction as written in Leviticus chapter 11 and Deuteronomy chapter 14. Yahweh has given us a, a means to be reconciled to himself through his beloved son Yeshua Amshia. Where you take on his nature and spirit by way of the new birth, according to Acts 38. Yahweh has given us what we must do to inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come. That is to do his commandments. For if we do his commandments, we have right to the tree of life and a right to enter into the set apart city of Yahweh. So, my beloved brother, we must believe every word of Yahweh. We must not doubt Yahweh's word. But we must hold firm to our faith in Yahweh's word. For in order to receive miracles, wonders, and signs from Yahweh, you must believe the word of Yahweh. And to believe the word, in order to believe the word of Yahweh, you got to obey the word of Yahweh. Again, don't, don't don't be spoiled by the philosophies and vain to see of men. As Colossians chapter 2 Colossians 2 Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. 
Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the rudeness of, the, of men, after the roots of the world, and not after Hamashiach. So don't let no man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Trying to persuade you that somehow the word of Yahweh has been tampered with. The word of Yahweh has inconsistencies, has errors has falsehoods, has inaccuracies. Don't let no man try to persuade you of that. For such a voice is the voice of Satan that seeks to cast doubt upon Yahweh's word, to seek to rob you of your pure belief in the word of Yahweh. For every word of Yahweh is pure and true and set apart. There are no contradictions. There are no errors. There are no blemishes in Yahweh's word. For it's written again that the word of Yahweh is forever settled or established in Shamayim. So my beloved brethren, especially those who have been born of Yahweh according to Acts 38, those who have repented of their sins and were baptized and water in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, for both the pardon of sin and the regeneration of your soul, and have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit as an, as an initial end by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permits one to speak. Continue to believe in Yahweh's word. Hold firm to your faith in the word of Yahweh. Don't let no man rob you of your faith in the word of Yahweh. But continue to believe in Yahweh's word. For the word of Yahweh is both our strength and our power. And in order for us to access the strength and power of Yahweh, we must govern ourselves according to every word of Yahweh. In order to access the strength and power of Yahweh, you must govern yourself according to every word of Yahweh. We can't live by part of the book, but we live by every word of Yahweh. For every word of Yahweh, the Seraphite Scriptures, it proceeded from our Yahweh, who is the Word, who is the eternal Word. For only one is the eternal Word, and that's Yahweh Himself. Yahweh created a man to express Himself through in the person of Yeshua HaMashiach, that He may show forth an example how to live set apart. But there's only one eternal word, and that's Abba Yahweh. And we must live faithfully, consistently, and humbly according to every word of Yahweh. So my beloved brother, continue to believe Yahweh's word. Grow strong in your faith in the word of Yahweh. For it's written in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren, finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh and the powers of his might. So the strength and power of Yahweh is the word of Yahweh. We access that strength and power to overcome our enemies, to overcome our various trials and tribulations and persecutions by governing ourselves, by submitting ourselves to every word of Yahweh. Moreover, moreover my beloved brethren, do not let no man spoil you or rob you of your belief in Yahweh. For if you are spoiled or robbed of your belief in Yahweh, and to believe in Yahweh is to believe in His Word. Then you cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come. For those who disbelieve the Word of Yahweh, who reject belief in Yahweh's Word, they will not receive eternal life, but they will receive eternal damnation. As written in Revelation, Chapter 21. 
and verse 8, but the fearful, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake with birds of fire and brimstone with the second death. So, if you're an unbeliever in Yahweh's word, if you declare that Yahweh's word is full of inaccuracies and inconsistencies and errors and contradictions, you are an unbeliever. And no unbeliever will inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come to this earth. For only believers will inherit Yahweh's kingdom to come. And to be a believer in the word of Yahweh, you must be obedient to every word of Yahweh. And be mindful where faith comes from. Faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of Yahweh. So in order to receive faith, in order to be strengthened and increased and nurtured in faith, you must hear the word of Yahweh. And by hearing the word of Yahweh means to listen intentively with the intent to obey Yahweh's word. So do not disbelieve the word of Yahweh. Do not dare say that Yahweh's word is full of inaccuracies or inconsistencies and errors. Lest you blaspheme the word of Yahweh. For the book plain says that the words that I speak of you are spirit and they are life. The book plain said that set apart men of Yahweh were moved by the Holy Ghost. So these men that wrote the scriptures, they did not write on their own power, did not write on their own understanding, did not write on their, their own mind. So the men that wrote scripture, Yahweh took possession of them and directed their hands to record his word. And let's say it again. The men that wrote the scripture, Yahweh took possession of them and directed their hands to write his word. Any man that say that Yahweh's word has inaccuracies and errors and, and, and blemishes and falsehoods is a damn liar. And that man don't know Yahweh. That man is a blasphemer. Let me read Matthew chapter 13 about what, what, the, the state of those who blaspheme. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 31, Matthew 13, Matthew 12 or 31 rather. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 31. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 31. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 31. And I read, Wherefore, I say to you, all men of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven to men. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven to men. And whoso speaks the word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whoso speaks against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him. Not in this world, not in the world to come. So, when you speak against the word of Yahweh, you blaspheme. And if you willfully speak against Yahweh's word, denounce Yahweh's word, by the, and declare Yahweh's word is inaccurate, it's full of errors, and it's false, you are a blasphemer, and you cannot be forgiven. That means you are damned. Only the damned will denounce Yahweh's word. Only the damned of the earth who are reserved for the fires of hell, fire, and brimstone, they will speak against Yahweh's word, they will denounce Yahweh's word, they will declare from their wicked and wretched mouth that Yahweh's word is full of inaccuracies, errors, and falsehoods. So my beloved brethren, wax strong in your faith in the word of Yahweh. Continue to obey Yahweh's word. For in obeying your word, you receive the right to enter the kingdom of Yahweh to come. For the meek will inherit the earth, 
and to be meek, you must humble yourself. You must humble yourself before Yahweh's word. My beloved brethren, I pray you continue to submit yourself to Yahweh's word. Don't listen to these fools that try to convince you that the word of Yahweh is wrong, that there are errors in Yahweh's word. Don't listen to the mouth of men. But you submit yourself to Yahweh's word. Oh Yahweh, in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for another Shabbat day Eve and for stirring your certain heart to speak forth your word of truth. I pray that you direct those souls you have chosen to hear these messages of truth and that you open their heart to receive your word that they may bring forth abundant fruit unto your glory, honor, and praise. O oh, Yahweh, continue to strengthen the faith of your elect, increasing our faith, refining our faith in you, O oh, Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh. Continue the God from every evil work and work the worker of darkness. I thank you, Yahweh. I praise you. I give your name, honor, glory, and praise. So be it. So be it. Shabbat shalom.